welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how we can crop individual objects from a segmented image. Particularly I will be using these two uh, methods that is connected uh, components and uh, find contours. This is one way of doing it and there is another way which I will describe in the next video. So let's get started. Let me add a new form. Right click on your project go to aid and then windows forms and we can give it a name like form crop cc and then add it i need to uh, to picture boxes so let me drag and drop two picture boxes first and resize them to display my image just i copy it and paste it as well and uh, we can use a menu to show different options so i'll be using the we, i will use this menu uh, control so drag and drop it so the first one i call it file and then open and then i, I can say crop so uh, just double click on the open and make sure that you are using the uh, emgu.cv emgu and using emgu.cv.structures these two are important and uh, inside it i'm going to create an image object so this declare basically and then i call it i am saying good and uh, i also since i'm using the connected components so i will be using a gray image as well and a type white and i call it uh, cc connected components in the open uh, tool strip menu item i just need to create a file open file dialog open file dialog i just name it dialog equals to new open file dialog and uh, first i need to show this dialog to the user using the show dialog and i make sure that the user has selected an image so this uh, dialog it should be equal to dialog result dot okay and once he selects an image then i can create the object for img input and in the constructor i can pass the path of my selected path that is file name and read that image into this ing input and then i can show this one in my picture box one my image equals to img input dot bitmake and uh, now once i do that i just need to before crop i think i should do process it that is uh, find the connected components and then store them so maybe i should call it find cc okay double click on this and this method will perform finding the contours for my image as I did in one of my previous videos, let me uh, first uh, check the condition that IMG input equals if it equals null since the, there is no input image, so we don't need to proceed. I just put return and then in a try cage block, I say EE and I can show if there is an exception, I'll show you what is the exception so that my code will continue working in the, even if there is an exception. So the first thing I want to do is to convert my uh, color image into a binary image. Let me create a temp variable and first convert this IMG input into convert into gray image of depth byte and then perform the thresholding on it and uh, i set this new value to be let's say 100 
in threshold value and if it is greater than this threshold replace it with 255 and uh, then uh, I also may need to sorry this one is like here and then I can perform um, dilation operation so that if there is any gap within the object I just want to fill it and then bring it back into its maybe possible original size so this one will perform first it convert into grayscale perform thresholding and I dilate once and erode once and I will get a binary image and uh, since I want to find the connected components and uh, this connected components method requires an input image and an output uh, array as well so i will create an output array i call it labels is equal to new med object and uh, since connected components is returning the number of labels as an integer so i just want to use assign it here cv invoke dot now i am calling the connected components function and it requires um, our first input as by the image on which we want to perform the connected components it should be a binary image and then the output image i just call it labels and the rest of two parameters they have been already um, used with the default values so i'm going to use them as it is once i get the connected components in my made object i want to convert it into uh, uh, an image so cc is a gray image so let me convert this labels image into dot convert to sorry and this is to image which type of image i want is the gray image and of depth is in bytes and optionally i can show it in picture box 2 as well the 2 dot image equals to uh, cc dot bitmap uh, it will not show the cc because cc itself we cannot see it because the label values can be between 1 and 0 and any number so i can show the temp okay once we have uh, the image displayed once we calculated the connected components then uh, we can use the mouse click event to obtain the individual objects first let me run and check if it works file open and uh, let me select the coins image and then find cc okay so now if i click on this i want to prop the image for this object separately and display it in my picture box too and to do that i just need to go to this picture box and i'm going to handle the mouse click event and inside this click event i just make sure that my connected components equals equals now then i don't need to do anything and uh, if it is not then i can start with uh, processing let me display a message in case if we got any exception mb tape ee dot message okay and here is what uh, first i need to get the integer label value and how can i get this label value is from the connected components uh, image so e dot y that is the mouse click location i get it and a dot intensity is it is the value of the pixel so i received it in a sense i want it to be an integer so let me uh, cast it into an integer and the next thing that i need to make sure that this is not the background element so if label is not equal to zero then i can proceed this the label is zero means we are uh, talking about the background which we don't need it we need the uh, segmented objects so the first thing that i want to do is to get the 
rectangle the bounding box of that object and one way to get the bounding box of the object is to use the use the find contours method first for that object and uh, another way is using this connected component states which i will discuss in another video now i am using this uh, find contours method so the first thing that i need to do is if i get the label i want to get all pixels belonging to that label so that i want to get that object so the first thing that i will do is cc dot in range method sorry dot in range and this in range will help me to obtain two values not only so i can say new gray label and also new gray label the lower range and the upper range is label it means i want to get the pixel with the exactly label value okay so this one will give me a binary image now on this binary image i can apply the find, find contours uh, method and then get the bounding box for that object so how we can do it if uh, since the find contours requires a vector of vector of points which returns the information about contours and i need to add that into this as well in cv dot utils and then we can say vector of vector of point we call it contours is equal to new contours in which the information about my contours will be stored and also it requires to maintain information about the hierarchy of contours that's why i just created the main object m we are not using it so we don't need to discuss about it so cv invoke dot find contours and in find contours the first thing that it requires is the image okay temp is the image on which we want to apply it and the contours is the object where we want to store the contours and m is the hierarchy information and the retrieval type that we want is only the external contours and the method chain approximation method is the approx simple approximation it means only the uh, data points which are uh, important not redundant will be uh, returned and then i put a semicolon maybe i can show it in two lines better to show it in two lines okay so this is the complete method of defined contours. So it will give me information about the contours in my contours object. And if, let me check that contours dot size is greater than zero. I mean, at least I have a contour and ideally this one should give me one contour because I click on only one object. So the first contour I am interested in. So I will get the bounding box for that control. So rectangle, let me create a rect object or call it bounding box equals to CV invoke dot bounding rectangle. Bounding rectangle for my first contour. So uh, since we have an array of contours that is the vector of vector of points of controls i just give it zero it means the first contour probably only one contour in my uh, contours list so i pass that contour into this method and this method will give me its uh, bounding rectangle and once i have the rectangle what i can do is copy the original crop the original image using this bounding rectangle so what i will do img input dot roi to do that we use this i just set the region of interest of the input image to the bounding box okay 
and now what happens let's say i'm create variable img now i'm going to copy this img input into this one so the since it has an roi so only the region of interest will be copied into my image that's why i put this roi to this bounding box once the work is finished i want to remove that bounding box from the input image dot roi equals to rectangle dot empty so this is how we uh, make sure that there is no roi set for the input image once we have the image we can display the cropped image in our picture box too dot image equals to img dot bitmape so let's run it and see what it gives for us. File, open. I'm going to open the same coins image, okay, and then find CC, okay. And when I click on it, now you can see that the image is being cropped using its bounding box. So, uh, what it does actually is binary mask for this object for example when I click on it and then using the contours method I get information about all the contours probably when I click on this I will have only one contours uh, in it and then using the bounding rectangle for that contour uh, zeroth index control I get the bounding box I use that bounding box to crop the input image and I put it in img uh, variable and then display it. that is what it is doing i hope this video helped you to understand more emg ucv so see you in the next video